Within eight series relay, we can simulate three-phase fault without using three-phase test set. So to set the test simulation, we can go to set points, testing, and simulation. For the simulation, we can simulate not only the analog CTVT input, but also the LED contact input and outputs. For this demo, we're going to only demo how to inject uh, simulated uh, CT and VTs. So first setting is the simulating state. We can simulate uh, pre-fault, fault, and post-fault. And usually we can use one pre-fault to test the metering. And uh, the parameter is set under each uh, setting screen, pre-fault. We already entered the, the parameters, magnitude, phase angle, for voltage and current. And the, be careful the phase angle, the negative values representing the lagging phase angle. Um, so we also have the fault, and we can do this uh, pre-fault to fault transfer by using this trigger. So we'll show this uh, later, but for now we're going to do a quick uh, pre-fault uh, applied and to check the status of the front panel metering. So we can open the HMI display to see this parameter being applied to the front panel. So we're going to save this uh, pre-fault state without triggering. And when we click Save, we'll see that the parameter is applied to the relay's uh, front panel. So the next test we want to do is the pre-fault fault trigger by using manually turn on. And this can also be done by using the contact inputs or the virtual inputs, remote inputs, or by any other flex operand. So for this uh, demo, we're just using manually turn this on. And we're going to click uh, Save. As soon as I click Save, this uh, pre-fault stage will jump into the fault, which means two times CT. And also, when the relay operated, it will jump into the post-fault. So the post-fault parameter is zero CT. And for the voltage, it depends on the CT position, could be nominal voltage of the line or could be the zero voltage of the bus. So for this uh, demo, I'm just using zero current and voltage. So the element we're going to test is face IOC element. This uh, element is already enabled. The setting is 1.9 times CT just because it's below the fault values, 2 times CT, and uh, 3 seconds delay is used for this uh, element, just for us can see that the, the 3 seconds fault uh, delay in the HMI display. So now, if I click uh, the Save button, and we will see that the jumping from the pre-fault 1 to 2 for the 3 seconds, then jump into the post-fault. And that's how we tested the phase ILC by using this simulation mode. And we can see that the at, at the end, the fault current is uh, cut off because we set the them in the post fault. This is a similar like uh, the uh, three phase test set auto off function. For some application, we want to keep this current applied uh, without tripping um, the current. So there's two ways we can do. The first one is disable the triggering, set it off, and apply only the pre fault. So when we apply only the pre-fault, only the pre-fault parameter will be applied, we can manually change the uh, parameter. For example, the phase A current, we can set this to be 
one. So then if we want to test this uh, element, we can manually turn this to be two and click save. So two times CT is applied, but the really will not uh, jump into the post f fault even after three seconds. But for some application, we have lots of parameters. We want to dynamically change from pre fault to fault. So we, we don't want to manually change. So there's another way we can do is to set the parameter of the post fault same as the fault. So when the fault uh, applied, the really operated, it will jump from uh, fault into the post fault, but the parameter are the same. So we can still keep on applying these uh, fault uh, values to the relay and uh, analysis the relay's behavior. So that's uh, uh, the introduction of how we use the uh, test simulation to test the relay without using a three-phase test.